Hi guys, I would like to show you new Zen Sets update 1.3. We have improved performance and added a lot of new and exciting features. Let's have a look at it. First of all, we updated our Pi menu and added helper to it, so now you can see what options are active, what not, and when, for example, you are holding control or Alt key for alternative commands, you can see it in the helper. If you don't like it, so you can disable it in Command Display by Assist. Also, don't forget that you can receive quick help by hovering cursor over any button and pressing F1. Then you will open documentation on the right page. The main feature of this update is support of UVs. Now you can use Zensets groups not only in 3D view, but in UV editor also. Let's select element, add new group. So now we can see that this UV island is highlighted in UV editor. Then, for example, we can select another island, add to new group, append, select and create one more group, add to the new group, select this one, add to the new group, and now you can easily select islands in UV editor. Just click and smart select. Smart select. If you don't need display option in UV editor, you can disable it here. You can create edge groups. Vertex groups, if the size is a bit off, you need to enable this option, Smart Select. Keep in mind that Vertex and Edge groups are working only if UV Sync option is enabled. Sometimes it's hard to spot UV borders, but we fix this situation. Let's go to Edge, Sets and Assign UV borders, and the new group was created. If you move island to another place, UV borders will be still here. Don't forget that you can change colors. And my favorite part. Let's make auto groups by normal. And enable then set tool. Now by holding Ctrl and Shift you can click on the group. Ctrl, Shift and drag will hide it. Again click, 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 click. Ctrl, Shift and drag will invert this selection. Again hide something else. Absolutely the same actions you can do in UV Editor. You need to enable Zen set tool. Ctrl Shift click height, Ctrl Shift and drag invert, and Ctrl Shift and click in empty space will return everything back. Also, when this tool is enabled, you can use Smart Select. Just press Ctrl right click, and the group will be selected. If you want to store selection, you need to press Shift and again right click. Holding Control button and using your wheel on your mouse, you can switch between groups. I really like this isolate mode. If you forgot how to use it, press F1 or use this button. If UV Sync option is disabled, it's really hard to find selected island on the model. To do it, we created pinned groups. Go to Face Sets, Enable Zen Sets tool, Ctrl Shift and right click on any island, and you can see that it will be highlighted on 3D model. Let's select this small island. Be sure that this button is disabled and click on the group, and you can see that this island is here. One more time, let's select this small island, again pinned group, and this island is here. 
Again, UV Sync is disabled, but you can easily find place for your UV island. I'll remind you how easy it is to create collection structure using Zen Set. Select Objects, New Group, New Group, New Group, and one more time. The structure is ready, and now we can convert this structure to parent objects. Every collection will be presented as empty object. Now we can change size of empty object. Let's check it. It's working, so and also we can convert it back to collections. One more interesting feature. Let's convert it to parent objects. Select this empty. Adjust its position. Rotate this empty. And let's convert everything back to collections. And we can see that we still have this empty with saved position. And next time when we convert collection to parent objects, it will be on the same position. So now we can change it. Convert to collection. It's here. And one more time to parent objects. We provide access to ZenSets API, which means other add-ons developers can easily use ZenSets features. It allows you to cover areas of the mesh and see them in View 3D and UV editor windows. Here you can find some examples. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.